Hello everyone, today we are going to dive into the world of water flow charts. Now these are very powerful visualizations that are going to help you understand the cumulative effect of sequential positive and negative values in your data set. So let's get started. First, open up Tableau and connect to your data set. Now for this demo, I've already loaded a simple data set for video game sales that contains the information that we need to create for our word flow chart. Now let's set up our data. So in this data set, we do need a column for categories and another for their corresponding values. So make sure your data is structured similarly with categories and their respective values. To create the basic bar chart that is going to serve as a starting point to our waterfall, we need to drag our category dimension into the column show. So in this case, I'm going to select genre and your value measure to the row show. So in this case, I'm going to take Japan sales. Now, this is the basic bar chart that Tableau is providing us, but we actually need the running total. And what does the running total mean? This is just going to be the add up of each sequential genre into the next one to give us a total for the last, in this case, strategy genre. Now, after this, what we need to do is go into marks and select, instead of automatic, we want the GAN bar. And now this is going to give us the effect of the waterfall chart. Now, the interesting part about this one is that we need a calculated field that is going to be, in this case, I'm going to name it profit. And I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to put it as Japan sales. So now the calculation is valid. And this is going to give us how much it's stretched in a positive way or how much it kind of like not stretched in a positive way, in a negative way. So we click OK. And now this profit calculate a field, we're going to drag it into size. Now you can see that we're getting that effect of the waterfall chart. Now what we want to do is actually look at the total for all of this process that is happening over here. So click on analytics, click on total and drag it and click on row grand total. And this is going to give you the total for that specific data set that you're actually looking to visualize. Now you can do a lot with this specific graph. You can change the color based on, for example, I want to see it based on the year. Or you could change it based on the platform. You can add all of them or just filter and then add some different platforms. Remember that not everything is need to be included. And there you have it, a super simple waterfall chart in Tableau. So in just a simple few steps, you can now visualize the cumulative effect of your data. Play around with it with different formatting options to make it suit your needs. 